Is that the department for opting out of a smart meter? Yes, it works. Yeah, we've been looking at smart meters. So how does a person actually opt out? Because some people here in our area have been getting letters that they're going to roll out smart meters and a lot of the local residents are really concerned um, about data protection and the fact that the ESB is going to hold that data for seven years and it could be used by other agencies to infringe on on people's uh, privacy rights so what does the what does the esb doing to address those issues apart from just rolling it out like uh willy nilly without informing the public about data protection so when the smart mission program is rolled out in the area you're given that you you'd be sent three separate correspondence um is the, is, well, okay, is the person sent the opt-out letter as part of the rollout to properly inform them, like, what's going on? Not an opt-out letter, but there will be a section on it advising you how you can opt-out if you don't want to participate. So you're saying uh, there's a section on the letter at the moment for opting out? There is, yeah, and we have a facility here. To, to opt out to particular customers who don't want to avail of it at the moment. So how does a how does a person actually opt out? Do do they um do they have to make a phone call, do an email, or send you in do. a letter? You need to call us here in networks, and we'll opt out through you, and you receive a letter then advising you that we've received your request to opt out to smart meter. Okay, so what's the status on if someone's in a new home and there's already a smart meter fitted? What's the status on them getting that? removed and an analog meter put in i know the the excuse is uh, oh we don't have analog meters but that's that's not good enough because people's health is at stake here because the emf emissions from those is, is quite damaging even at low levels so they, they run now off the same signal a lesser signal than a mobile phone it's a 2g signal. it doesn't matter you see the the lowest levels of this even the, the garda and the emergency services tetra is at 17 hertz like it's quite quite low but there is no safe level of this i don't know if you if you're aware of that now you have the icnerp guidelines but as i say those guidelines are just that guidelines there's no the science is like the argument is over now whether this is safe or not all mobile phones are dangerous all wi-fi routers are dangerous 2.4 gigahertz is just as dangerous as having an antenna outside your home on a mast so there is no actually is no um, protective level of this so what it is it's an accumulation so if you have your Wi-Fi router on in your house and you also have a smart meter well that's more accumulated EMFs going through your home damaging your family long like the, if the are you aware of the bio initiative report I have no I have no um, comment on it I'm not qualified to discuss it so I, I don't have anything to say on it yeah okay well you know um uh, it's really no excuse. Ignorance is no excuse because um, if you're there uh, providing a service, you should know the dangers of these EMFs and you should know that a lot of smart meters, actually, there's fire problems with them. What's your, what's your um, information on the fact that a lot of, worldwide, a lot of smart meters are going on fire spontaneously? Again, I have nothing to say on it. I haven't heard of it, nor have I had any reports in this country so, or any of the customers that we have. I okay. haven't had any reports on my side of that happening here. For the record, right, um, I'm recording this call for my own information and also to um, make sure that uh, information you're giving me is, is logged so that I can look yeah. back in it. And now, I would I you... just like to add as well that I don't have any permission from my voice to be used in any third party. You that's, will... that's my right. Okay. My right then. Okay. Um. I'll take your so name. I'll, I'll take your name. You you I give your name I at the. Don't give my, I don't give my permission from my voice. Right. You give your name at the start. Part. So I'll I'll just take your name okay. out. But apart from that, look. Um. User recording me. So what about my data protection on this end? Because because you, you you just announced that you were recording me. Yeah, we, we announced that we are recording it, so you are aware that the calls are recorded before you yeah. need to speak to one of Okay, so if I hang up and phone you back and tell you that it's been recorded for my, for my information, would you be okay with that? Like, is this a one-way street where it's all 
It's all the system I, has all. I'm, I'm very sorry. I don't understand where this conversation is going. Well, you're I recording me, and I've just I've just stuff. informed you that I'm recording you. So, and you've objected, but you you said because I didn't tell you at the yeah, start. Yeah, and, and if you if you didn't want us to record your voice, you would have the chance to hang up the phone before you even spoke to anybody. All right then. Okay. So, uh, are you okay with me recording you? No, I'm not. Why? Because you're a public servant and you're giving out public information, why would you not want that recorded? Yes. It's not. A, this isn't a private conversation, like. It's not. No. no so I'm not. I'm not breaching I'm any data here, protection. I, I'm not here to report on any so-called incidents or anything like that. That's not my job. Um, you advised me that you wanted information in relation to the opt-out procedure, the smart metering. Correct. I'm more than happy to give you that information, and I feel that I have. That's, that's the conversation that I thought. And uh, regarding data, da- regarding data protection, like uh, uh, there is, a, is there no warning in the when a person signs up for a smart meter that their their data protection is being breached? Is there no warning in that? Like I mean, loads of people are saying that uh, um, you know the Digital Rights Ireland and two legal experts warned well, lack all of. All the, all the smart meter does is record the usage in a home. Yeah, but home. but that's you see. This this is infringing on people's um, right to privacy because if I go into my electric shower, someone somewhere knows that I'm having a shower at the moment. Do you know what I'm saying? So there is serious data protection uh, breaches there. But is is there warnings that the, does the ESB put warnings on their forms that data protection may be breached by signing this form and and uh, agreeing to a smart meter? Like that, the, the public, yeah. uh, like the public, should be fully anything, informed. Anything like that should be addressed to the regulator. We're just following guidelines that are put in place by the CRU. Uh, but the, the ESB it. have a duty of care to their customers to give them the full disclosure, do they not? Yeah, like that, you. Electricity usage. There, there is no main. Like it's the same as if a meter reader calls to your home and took a meter reading. It's the same information. It's just going to be held electronically. Well, that is that's actually not true because it's it's going to send information every thirty minutes. So that means you, uh, what you're, you like uh, the ESB can tell uh, when I'm boiling my kettle because that's high wattage. You can tell when I'm having a shower because that's high wattage. Uh, if I'm not using any electric, that information goes back to the ESB that I'm on holiday or I'm not at home. Now th- these are serious like security breaches, and I don't I know you're not aware of this. And, and it can tell by your tone of voice that you're not aware of any of this. So uh, part of my call today is like to, to inform you as well. And uh, you're saying this this call is recorded. Well, could I request that this goes to someone higher up in the office? So as I said on the letter that you received, when the Smart Meter program is introduced, all of the information and contact. No, no, you're not. Introduced. You're not warning people about data possible data protection breaches. But that should be brought up with data protection legislation. No, uh, no, 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 no. This is the, the contract between the ESB and the customer, so the ESB should actually indemnify themselves by making sure that they, they inform, because uh, they will be liable for data protection breaches, not that not that they're um, passing the buck to the regulation authority. So they collect data usage every 30 minutes and automatically transmit the daily tally to the ESB once a day. And the data stored for seven years. Your inf- your personal information is transmitted every half hour. Surely this is serious, like, uh, data protection. And most people who get, like, as, why are they not informed when they sign up to get a smart meter with the rollout? With Because it's an, it's an agenda now to, to change everything to make it smart. Why are people not because told by the ESB? Most people, most people are trying to avail of a smart meter. No, we most people, no I, but most people don't. To get one installed, well, that's not that's not that's not true. The fact is, like, out of a group of fifty people, I, most I'm people. Sorry, sorry. What? Can I take your own name, please? I never, I never got your name, sir. No, it's okay. Um, most people. That's fine. So I introduced myself at the start of the call, so you have my name. So can I have your name, please? It's okay. Um, uh, okay. I don't like. I don't like giving. See, see, you represent. You're represent no, but that, this is the. You're telling me that that's not true. This, this is the job that I do. 
every day. So I know that it's true, that there are more people that are actually availing as an early adopter okay. who are showing particular you see, interest in actually getting one installed earlier rather than people that are looking to opt out, which is totally their right and we're happy to do that for but them you, if they look, don't want to avail of it. Look, that's not a problem. This is semantics. There's you're already saying, half a million smart meters installed. Yeah, because those people haven't been properly informed. Do you think they know about the dangers of EMFs going through their home? Do you think they know about the the, the dangers to their security and data protection? Oh, they I don't. Comment on is the details that I have. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, from but what just I experience but every day, saying everybody has it. one doesn't mean to say it's safe. Number one, and doesn't mean to say it's secure. Number two, and doesn't mean to say that it's it's not a breach in data protection. So, like, I, I, I don't I, work in data protection, so I can't comment well, on okay, that. Okay, look, I, obviously, it's your look, right to to speak to any of the regulators or any of the yeah. senior legislators that are spontaneously going on fire. Do you believe there's no issues I with that? I can confirm that I have never I have never had a report of that here. Okay. I personally have not had a report of that here, no. Okay, but that doesn't mean you haven't had a report doesn't mean that that's not But I'm just probable. one person and you're asking me and I'm telling you Oh no, you're not you, oh, hold on a minute. I have not let me, that. let me correct you, you're just not one person. You are Sorry, working I really do, I just don't appreciate the way that you're speaking to me and it's like a kind of um you're sort of trying to trap me in information that I haven't given you. I just want to clarify, do you want me to take your NPRN number and opt you out of smart metering or would you like to wait and receive your correspondence in the post? I'll wait for the correspondence because that way That's I can fine. I can see exactly That's then fine. what's on the paper. Uh, but I think the guy I phoned up as a customer making a complaint like and um, my my main complaint is that the people aren't being informed properly. And you're saying oh they've oh, so many million so people you have. Need to speak to the regulator. I would say because that's the that's information that we are processing is put in place by the regulator. If you are not happy with that or how it's being implemented, you need to speak to the CRU. That's who you need to speak to. Well, the CRU commissioner has said, "I have serious reservations," and I'm quoting them directly here that they have not the ESB adequately considered the data protection issues involved, and that is after saying that. Uh, the Commission of for the Regulation of Utilities, CRU, has asked the ESB to install them as part of a nationwide programme. Then he continues, however, I have serious reservations. So you're, you're telling me to go to the CRU, but he's now passed the buck to the ESB and now you're passing it back. Like that's that's a game so, of politics here, like, so and that, that shouldn't can, come into it. So that we can come to a conclusion here on this call today. What is it that you would like me to do for you today? Okay. I would like you to inform, because you're, you're recording this call, so inform uh -huh. and, and, and uh, push this call higher up and inform um, the directors or whoever's, who, like who, what's your boss's name? That's public information, it's something that you could... That's public information, yeah, this is a public call, it's not a private call. So I'm talking to a company right now, so I'm, just, I'm asking you just a, a straight question, what is your, like what's your boss's name? I'm not... So there's a number of people that we've okay. reported, so can you, not any one Okay, can you, like, voice my concerns to your your boss? Is that, That's all I'm asking you to do? Yeah, that's fine. So for me to get them to give you a call back, I'll need your NPRN number and your phone number, please. You already have my phone number because I'm phoning you from my mobile. So do you want to confirm it? So it's yeah. the number ending in 882, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So anyone, your anyone can, number. anyone can phone me back on that. I, I don't have my NPR and number to, to hand. Sorry. So can I search your phone number and see which which property comes back as registered for billing at that property under that? Yeah, number? absolutely, you can. Um, okay. Uh, look, I was just uh, a lot of people are concerned about data protection. A lot of people are concerned about the safety of these um, machines. <laughs> Um, and they're pumping out EMF radiation through the home. Now, can you can you tell me what, like your normal Wi-Fi? Hello. Yeah, I'm just trying to 
your normal Wi-Fi router is 2.4 gigahertz. What is the energy rate and what's, what's been pumped out of from the smart meter, do you know? That's something that smart metering will have to, I'm not a qualified electrician, so you need to speak to one of them in smart metering about that. Yeah, okay. And just to inform you that lower, low, low levels of this energy is quite damaging. And the bioinitiative report is is a peer-reviewed study. It's massive if you were to print it out. And um, that it's well, something maybe the ESB, here, um, the ESB I, could I look into that. because like there's there's going to be campaigns against uh, smart metering. Um, there's lack of information. There's lack. There's not full disclosure on a contract for a smart meter, which means that that contract could be null and void in a court of law because the full disclosure is serious data protection um, breaches and. This has been admitted by the commissioner for the Wait, CRU. Uh, okay, so yeah, the commissioner has. I searched the mobile number here, and it's associated to a non-registered property, and it's in a woman's name. Really? Yeah. No. What do you mean, non-registered property? What does that mean? There's, it's not registered with the supplier. There's no registration there. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Um. I don't know what to say about that. Uh, there any other number that you would have associated with your electricity bill? Well, that, you can just use that number. It doesn't matter. But I can't just give them a number with no name of a person or no general area of where they're calling from. So we need to pass it to the local area, the local engineering officer. Um, right. So we need to know where it's going. Well, listen, you've been really helpful. You've told me a lot about what you know and what you don't know. I hope I've gave you some information for your own good, uh, for your own protection. Yeah, no, that's, that's all I that's found right. up. It's just for, for me to get your complaint addressed, I need to know who, who's calling and I need to know what local area office needs to deal with it. Okay. So, look, um, you have my number there now. If someone wants to phone me back on that, this is but recorded. You've got my... Where you're call I need to know where you're calling from so I know which engineering officer needs to speak to you. Oh, I know what you're saying. Well, I'm in uh, Donegal. So would it be closer to Letter Kenny or Philly Bay? Letter Kenny. Bunk actually. Yeah, I can put up an anonymous referral there and ask one of the local engineers in Letter Kenny to give you a call. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, uh, that's okay. Uh, yeah, I suppose that would do. But, um, Always. Thanks for your help now. Thank you. Take bye -bye. care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye.